What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Chanel from Complex Simplicity. Happy Tuesday. As you can see, I've been laying low <laughs> the past two days. I've been on a running journey, as I shared, and kind of hurt my hip, leg hip area. So I've been, you know, trying to rest. I'm normally off on Mondays, and then I took an additional day today. And the good thing, I, the good thing is, um, also, as I was able to spend some quality time with the hubby, which is always a great thing. And it's funny. So as I'm in the, in the house, um, basketball games, baseball games are going on. Me and the hubby are lounging in the living room. I um, realized that my favorite choreographer ever, Monica Wilson, is going to be coming to New York City because she's Atlanta based to do a dance class. Her style of dancing is all my zhuzh, which is when I say all my zhuzh, meaning my style of dance um, that I enjoy learning from, um, which is more sexy moves, floor techniques, sensual moves. And um, she, she will be in NYC on November 4th. And you know, I had to send a blast out to my girls, my dancing girls, or my girls who know about this class, um, know about this choreographer. And um, I'm so excited. So hopefully we're able to make it happen every year. Well, I've only gone to two of her dance classes. And um, one of my good girlfriends was always the one that would come with me. I would invite a slew of my dancer girlfriends, but something always happens where they can't come. So hopefully a majority of them will be able to come and enjoy this dance class. We can um, be there together to have like a cool experience as well as to, you know, uplift and empower one another. What I do love about Monica Wilson's classes is that behind the sensual dancing is a message of woman empowerment, which is all about what complex simplicity embodies. And that's what really drew me to her. Um, not just the, the dope choreography, but the fact that she takes the time out to empower um, all the women that are in the room. And she creates such an atmosphere of just warmth, good vibes, empowerment, encouragement, right? Because her, her choreography is real, y'all, it's hard. I like to say and think that I catch on to choreography rather quickly, but every time I'm in her dance class, I feel like I have two left feet because that's how involved um, core-based her choreography is, right? But it's still a great experience. She has us all learning to dance as one big group, and then she has us all perform it in, in smaller groups. And that can be an intimidating environment for some who wouldn't want to perform in front of people um, they don't know or maybe even people they do know. And um, what I will say is that she creates such a cool environment that we're all cheering each other on. Like even if I see there's another young lady who embodied the dance and got it way better than me, I'm still like, you did that, go girl. You know what I'm saying? Or someone else may look at me and be like, get it, you know? Um, and I love that. And I would love for my girls and I to be able to experience this movement together as a group, not just me and one friend, but me and quite a few. Um, and so I know for some, they may be like, ooh, her dancing is uber sexual. She be having on um, leotards, fishnet stockings, and thigh-high socks, which to me, it's all about also feeling sexy and embracing your sexy as well. And so yes, you will find that every now and then I will have some of her video clips on my social media. You know, I'm very bold about that. I, I tend to share with some of my single girlfriends. Most of my girlfriends are Christians. Um, and I tend to share with the ones who are not married that like, please don't have your head in the clouds <laughs> when it comes to intimacy with your husband, right? Because... It, it, it calls for some kind of work, right? Now, some of us may be more in touch with our sexual selves more than others, but please don't think it's like what happens in the movies and, you know, that, oh, it's gonna be all this. Like, just have a realistic approach. Kind of start trying to tap into who you are as a woman. You know, I do have friends who have never experienced um, sex, which to me is an amazing thing. Please wait until you're married if you can. I think that's the more excellent way. As I said, I am a Christian. Um, and so sometimes when you have not experienced sex, which is a great thing, if you're saving yourself for marriage, 
you may still have certain naiveties or misconceptions about things. And so I like to be that friend to my inexperienced girlfriends or girlfriends who are not married to say classes like these could be also helpful and not just about what you're going to do for your better half and, you know, oh, how you're going to turn that person on, but more so just about yourself, right? Being able to tap into a certain, um, sensuality within yourself, a certain confidence within that area of your life within yourself. Um, and I know Monica, the choreographer, talks a lot about that as well. Yes, this could be helpful to those when it comes to their bedroom life, but at the end of the day, you have to feel that way about yourself for it to radiate to your partner, right? You have to feel like you're sexy and you're everything. You have to be in tune with your own sensuality and how you move, you know? Um, and I love this class also for that. So please don't get so stuck on the actual movements that you're seeing in any clips that I post above this vlog, um, as well as on my social media. Please know <laughs> that this class embodies so much more than just that. And let's keep it real. I'm one of those women, yes, I'm saved. A lot of times I say I'm not all the way saved. And what that means is I'm saved. I'm a Christian. I truly believe in Jesus Christ. I have, you know, um, made that profession of faith. Um, however... I'm not necessarily all the way of where I would want and need to be within my Christian walk. However, um, I still feel like let's not be dull and be boring, right? As women, as married women, and I'm even pushing myself more into this direction as well. Got to be in tuned and, 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 and connected with who you are also in sensual realms, folks. Please, let's not be naive. <laughs> but anyway, this is why I think this class is so dope. And hopefully I'm able to experience it with my peoples, my friends, my girls, and we can have a great time and empower one another in a different way. Let's take ourselves out of our normal comfort zones, right? Let's Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Um, so for those of you who may be interested in knowing if, um, Monica Wilson and her exodacy movement will be coming to a city near you. All you have to go is, all you have to do is go to exodacy, sorry.com, X O T I C Y.com. And you will see, um, where she plans on traveling to. Um, the classes that I normally take are about 30, $35. It's really not an expensive situation. You can have a great time, um, and not really, uh, kill the budget, so to speak. Um, so yes, I felt like that would be a great topic to do a vlog about, you know, um, and also just discussing the importance of, like I said, in us knowing who we are as women and knowing our worth, that also does tap into sensual sexual zones. Okay. okay? Like let's not put everything in a box. Um, I think there's something to be said about truly knowing who you are in all facets of life, in all facets within yourself. You know, I think it's a continuous thing that happens with us as women and people in general with really getting to know who we are in all aspects of the sense. And um, I'm... I've been raised by realists, especially my mom. She's a realist for a woman, a mother, a wife. And I appreciate that about her. My mom is even real with me about things that I have to look forward to. Should God spare my life when it comes to when women um, are in their 50s and above, right? And like menopause and the changes the body goes through and what comes with that and how that could affect you sexually. Like, I'm glad I have a mom who tells me these things. You know, I encounter a lot of women who, for whatever reasons, their mothers keep them in the dark about important things I feel like they should know. I knew something wasn't right. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, my zhuzh was off today and I couldn't get why. See, that's why. But anyway, <laughs> um, so I guess I'm uber thankful that my mom really has raised me in a way from mother to daughter where she hasn't left me in the dark about a lot of things, right? Christian mom and everything, but she's been real with me. You know, I've had friends who said nobody ever talked to them or prepared them for when they were gonna get their menstrual cycle. I'm like, what? You know, I've had friends who have told me that their mothers have never even prepared them about sex 
from a mother to daughter perspective, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, what? Like, so then you're getting this information from school and, and wrong influences? Like, what, you know, um, so I am so thankful to God that I have a mom who continuously keeps me in the know with things that can and will affect me as a woman. My mom is real about me when it comes to married life, marriageville, right? From before I was even on the road to get married to when I was on the road to get married to me now being married for almost three years, anniversaries in a couple of days. Um, but yes, the fact that she lets me know what time it is out here. She doesn't let me just wander blindly into the world. And I think that maybe that's why, even though I'm 34 years old, I'm wiser beyond my years, I'm often told. And I think it's because I had a mother who was very wise and who didn't just lock that wisdom up and just keep it for herself. She definitely shared it with me and my brother and my dad. You know, and my dad is wise in other ways that he... As I always say, my dad, I can never thank him enough. What he did on this, what he did as my father just to love me the way I needed to be loved was everything and more, right? So he was able to help tackle and make sure um, a huge part of my self-esteem and self-worth was is what it is, right? And then my mom, with the other half, was able as a, as a mother and as a woman to help lead me to develop into the woman that I am today and, um, and am becoming and evolving and ever evolving into, right? And so I think that is so essential. I'm not a parent yet, but if I'm blessed to have a child or children, I sure would hope um, that I would be able to be that for my children, especially if I had a daughter. You know, I don't want her out here living life haphazardly or just not having certain knowledge that she should learn from her mother. You know, um, I think that that is uber important and I am so thankful to, like I said, my mom, shout outs to you, mom, for always being that for me, you know? Um, and so, yes, I think that as I always have this message of empowering us as women, as people, as well as knowing ourselves and loving ourselves, it's important for us to know that that message stretches into different realms, right? Um, so even the sensual, sexual side of us is a part that we do need to get to know. That does not mean I'm saying go out here and bed hop and give your, your, your jewels and give your your flower and give your everything to every person that comes your way or to anyone. I, I love that I have friends who are saving themselves for marriage, right? Um, and so what I'm saying is just don't go into life blindly. Don't go into Marriedville blindly. Do your research, read up on it, watch different specials on it. Talk to your friends, talk to your married friends, your, your girlfriends, like be in the know. Please don't go into things blindly like, and you know, please get to know yourself even in that realm of life. Because in Marriedville, that is an important realm. Let's keep it real. It is an important realm. So I just wanted to share that with you and keep it a little cool and light in a different way. Um, continue to head to complexsimplicity.com. And until next time.